How you doing, everyone? Anthony Taylor from SME Strategy. I'm joined by the SME Strategy team. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jenna. So I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of Zoom and how you can use some of the functionality to support continuity in your meetings. And if you're still having strategy meetings, how Zoom uh, can be used to uh, make that easier. So I just wanna do a quick one run through of each of the different functionalities. So at the bottom, depending on your settings, you have all of these in your toolbar. And so you have mute if you wanna mute yourself, you have stop video. If you ever have any problems with your audio or video, you wanna make sure that the settings here are correct. So in this case, I have my AirPods that are playing my microphone and then the speaker are same running off of here. But if you have anything else that you wanna put in, make sure, be sure to test that first. You can also stop the video if you don't want people to uh, see your face and you can turn the video on. One of my favorite features is uh, I can put myself in a virtual background. So if I want to be in space, you can do that. And while it's a little obnoxious, it helps if you're worried about people uh, about having their background. But I encourage everybody to be camera ready and to make sure that as you uh, you know do your work, that you do it as best as possible. But as we demonstrated, there will always be people walking around as we are in self-quarantine and sometimes things happen. Um, the other thing you can do is you can see all of the participants. So if I need to, I can mute people, I can unmute people, I can turn on their, Jason, uh, their volume. So Jason, I'm gonna unmute you. Oh, hopefully unmute you. There we go. Jason, that works. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. You talk too much, I'm gonna mute you. And then if you're dealing with somebody like me who talks too fast, everybody can open up the participant tab. So Jenna, Jason, can you open up the participant tab and tell me that I need to go slower? Oh, Jenna says, I talk too fast, so I need to go slower. Jason says, I talk too fast, I need to go slower. Yes, I hear you, thank you very much. And uh, actually, you know what, guys, we need to take a break. Does anybody else need to go for a break? How are you guys doing? So under the participant tab, you can say if everybody needs a break, there's a visualization that will show we need to take a break and you can edit it for whatever reactions um, that you need. The other feature that I think is really cool with, uh, with Zoom is the uh, breakout rooms. Um, so if we wanna do a breakout room, I can assign participants automatically. So I'm gonna say, let's put three breakout rooms. I'm gonna create the breakout rooms. And Jay said, Jenna, can you, uh, go to your breakout rooms and then I'll bring you back in a quick second, okay? So Jason's gonna go to his breakout room, Jenna's gonna go to her breakout room, and now it's me in my breakout room all by myself. Now the reason that the breakout room is super valuable is because if you have a very large group discussion, you wanna make it more focused so it's not crazy, then uh, you can use that. Also, if you need to work on something, everybody else needs to work on something, and then you wanna bring them back after 15 minutes. Uh, we did that with our team. So now I've said, bring close the breakout rooms. All participants have been given 60 seconds to leave their breakout rooms. So now people are gonna start coming back. Jason's come back from his breakout room. Jason, how was your breakout room? Excellent. And J Jenna's gonna come back from her breakout room in a little while. Uh, they will automatically close, so it's really useful. Um, when people are still working on something. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the total capacity is, but I know that uh, at least it works with three people. The other thing you can do is you can record any of these meetings on the cloud or on the computer if you want uh, somebody else to join and participate. Hey, Jenna, welcome back. Um, the other thing that if you're in a breakout room or throughout the regular chat, there is a Zoom uh, chat function by all and you can uh, depend on who you wanna chat with. You can chat with people one-on-one -on -one, or you can chat with people uh, in small groups. Now that's a really good way if you have a really large group that you're trying to moderate, if you have everybody on mute and you wanna keep that focused, then you can use the chat function. One of the things that we really like doing is um, uh, like sharing screen is one of the best functions so I can see all of the different desktops that I have. So guys, right now I'm gonna share my screen so we can go to that agenda, okay? So go into the agenda. Now what we use is uh, Google Docs so that we can collaborate in real time. And so I can still see everybody that's on the call and I have our uh, agenda. And then so, um, hi team, let's talk about our vision. Jason, can you add some parts in under your action items for today's meeting? 
So as you'll see, there'll be a toolbar that will show up either at the top or the bottom, depending on your settings. So you can still do the mute, you can stop the video, you can still see the participants, um, you can change a, a share, you can pause the sharing, you can also annotate. So for example, I want to really highlight Jason section so I can put an arrow next to it so it highlights that and everybody can do that. And then you can also, if you feel so inclined to get creative, you can draw. And you can do a lot of really cool functionality here. You can also put a text box if you want. The other thing that's uh, neat is you can offer remote control. So I can give Jason remote control or I can give Jenna remote control of my desktop. I won't do that now. Um, so that if there's something that they wanna show me in a file, for example, hey, how do I insert an image? Well, they could show me how to do that. Uh, the important part is that you make sure that your annotation toolbar is done. And if I say, hey, can you help me with one of these things? I don't know where to find it. They could take remote control of my screen and move anything um, together. And so that's a really great way to collaborate, to have everybody sharing, to be able to work on one document so that your strategic plan, any work plans that you need to do, uh, don't need to stall. So once we're done working on that document, you can also have Google sharing for PowerPoints. You can also have it for Excel documents and of course, Word text documents. And then the last functionality, um, I'm gonna launch the poll. So guys, I just launched the poll. Can you tell me how you heard about SME strategy? And it's a really good thing if you want to offer some engagement um, that you can do whatever polls and get real time feedback as to how people are feeling. So whether that's job satisfaction, whether that's clarity, whether that's voting on a priority. And so um, that is one of the other functionalities of it. So hopefully this helps give you at least a cursory idea of how to use uh, Zoom to support your uh, strategy meetings, to support just your communication as a team and help everybody rally around in this uh, challenging time. So uh, thanks so much. This is, uh, I've been Anthony Taylor, everybody say goodbye to the internet. <laughs> and I, I hope today's uh, tutorial was uh, valuable for you. Take care y'all.